What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? We're gonna get some fiddle crafts today. You know what I'm saying? Um, we're gonna catch some sheep pads today, baby. We're gonna get some sheep pads today. So we're gonna come on down here. Trying to dig itself in the water. Sometimes, y'all, this um, stuff will get real high. When it gets real high, sometimes you might want to wear sunglasses and stuff because that stuff will be in your eye. In your eye, you'll be like, you get pointing in your eye. I have a couple of times pointing in my eye, but right now, they're not real high right now. But when they do get high, usually I'll put glasses on. That's in my old video what I used to do. That's how I used to do y'all. Alright. Let's walk on down to us when we catch y'all. Come on. Let's walk on down Right here. I like these black ones too though. All right, stone crabs. Those good too. Now people ask me all the time, well, how many you catch? How many you catch, man? Man, I'll catch me about three, four dozen of them. And I'll be good. Three, four dozen. That's if I'm fishing by myself. Best time to do this, man, to find crabs, it's like, you know, one that's small right there. Best time to do this, low tide. Low tide comes, 
That's the best time to get these. Let me see how they where they at right here. Let's go down here. Okay, got some right here. Okay. They coming out, they coming out, they coming out, they coming out. So it's just like a workout, y'all. When I stay in shape, do something like this. Put something right here, y'all. Sit down here. After this, we're gonna go get some bent ones. We're gonna get some big ones after this. How tall this game right here? Imagine you doing this. Going in there, they think you're in your eye and all that, boy. You just don't know.
you do is like hold on. Down here, down. You see this right here? This muddy area you want to come up? <laughs> Trust me, flounders will hide some stuff like this right here. Yeah, sit up here in this this muddy stuff right here. Larry there, middle run through here. Boom. This is this is a good area for flounders right here. They like it when it's muddy. Alright, y'all stay tuned, go somewhere else. Big stone grass, I got some big ones over here. I'm trying to get under here. Let's see. See them right there running? That's one right there. And they're high and good on me. All right, y'all, just stay tuned. All right, y'all, all right. We got probably like four dozen. You know, got about four dozen of them. You know what I'm saying? Got a lot of them. Yeah, that. You know, I could have just went and, um, you know, pay like $25 or whatever and got some um, fiddle crabs and all that stuff, though. But, you know, sometimes I like to go out and do it myself, though. Because it's something I used to do. Now, if I if I were pressed with time, I'll probably be paid for it. But since I got a lot of time today, it's like this, baby. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna go and get a lot of um, fiddle crab and stuff. So, all right, we're gonna try to fish for some um, sheep here, see where they at. But regardless, I have a lot. If you want to save these at home, what you do is though you put them have some sand in here. Kind of tilt it up real quick, right this a little bit, tilt it up a little bit. Or put some gas on, or not, 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 or not
they didn't drink it or whatever, do what they do and stuff, you know, they stay alive. I have them alive for at least almost a week and a half, close to two weeks. Some of them might die here and there, but a lot of the time I have them for a good while. So you can keep them alive though. All right, y'all, stay tuned.